Good evening, Bishop Lewis Riker Catholic School families. I'm Dr. Pinnell, head of school. I wanted to reach out to you this evening with a couple of points I wanted to share as we approach our deadline for re-enrolling for the next school year. So tomorrow night at midnight will be our deadline for re-enrolling for the 2023-24 school year uh, with your um, um, re-enrollment re -enrollment fee, $250 re-enrollment fee. Your re-enrollment, along with all of the families, is able to do four key things for us. First, it gives us an opportunity to start planning for the classroom and looking at teacher assignments for the fall. Doing those sorts of planning and those sorts of things up front in, in March, February, March, and April especially, really sets us up for, for success uh, in the new school year. And so we're, we're very much looking forward to that. But second, it gives us an opportunity to kind of see uh, if there's opportunities for our new families who are applying for admission and who want to find a home at Bishop Lewis Riker in some of our classrooms. Uh, and so then knowing where our open seats are gives us an opportunity to start building new relationships and welcoming new families uh, into our mission. But third, it gives us an opportunity to set a realistic budget so that we can start committing ourselves to a, to a responsible stewardship. Uh, when we receive funds from tuition or funds from benefactors, we want to make sure those funds uh, are put to maximum use and the maximum benefit uh, of our children. So knowing what our enrollment is uh, early on in the process really helps us to do that. And finally, your re-enrollment gives us an opportunity, especially for those families uh, for whom tuition might be just a little bit out of reach, to prioritize their needs in the tuition assistance process, which is going to start four weeks after we get uh, a sense of re-enrollment. And so we want to be able to uh, prioritize the families with whom we already have a relationship, those families who are already here with us, who already commit to us, who already volunteer, uh, and give us their, their families and their children uh, and their care as we move together uh, in this process of Catholic education. So prioritizing the needs of families looking for tuition assistance. Some of our high school families might be wondering, what do we have to look forward to? We've talked about a lot of different things and a lot of changes, and I'd like to highlight really on the academic side a couple of points. First, we do intend to continue the College Board Advanced Placement classes, AP classes, which gives students, our high school students, an opportunity to earn college credit when they take the AP exam at the end of the school year. Further, we want to continue our partnership with, uh, with uh, MCC so that our students are earning dual credit as they get ready to go to college and bring some of those college uh, credits with them. Uh, and finally, we want to continue to work with uh, our Dominican sisters especially to really make sure we, we hone and ground those three key humanities classes uh, and theology, that is history, literature, and theology, because in those classes, that's where students work out through some of the really great works of Western civilization, um, what are the moral questions that we need to be asking ourselves and finding answers to and, and living up to and striving for in, in our lives, not only now as high school students, but as, they, as our students prepare to go to college and very often a secular world that challenges them and, and uh, makes demands of them and asks them to be models and leaders and examples uh, of a Christian life, uh, one that is lived for, uh, for Christ, uh, and one that has lived, I, th I think, a good, good example and a good model uh, for others. And so that, that can always be a challenge, and, and we want to make sure that our academic program supports our students in, the, in that process. Another topic, I've had a lot of really great feedback from families and, and from coaches and others about our athletic program. And of course, I've learned in my six months here, Bishop Lewis Riker has a really great reputation in the area of, of athletics. And what we want to do is we want to continue to continue to build that reputation and then see what we can do to promote it and enhance it and amplify it going forward in the next several months and of course in the next few years. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity just to let you know that it's my intention to have an athletics task force where I invite uh, some people who have interest to give feedback to our program so that we can start taking a look at some of the structures and needs of our, of our students and some of our athletes, uh, some of our uh, sports, to make sure that we're in fact providing some of, the, some of the best opportunities that we can for our children who are looking for a balanced approach where their formation of, of character and, and learning and athletics, uh, the formation of the body that is healthy and sound is, uh, as, as students are looking for that that really full formation that one can get in a high school, and especially at Bishop Lewis Riker. Finally, just a, a one point about our Catholic identity. It's really important, I think, to us, and certainly part of the vision of, 
of Father Ryan, who is our pastor, that we have a Christ-centered spirituality, one that we help our students to become, uh, along the way, intentional disciples. It's one of the reasons why Father Ryan invited the Dominican sisters to join our mission a couple of years ago, and, and the work of Ablaze Ministries, and, uh, and, and involving um, their ministry in the lives of our children, beginning at the middle school or junior high levels, all the way into high school. So we know that our, our world is starving for, uh, for a spiritual answers to very difficult questions, and it is our hope that our young people, our, our students here at Bishop Lewis Reich will become the kinds of leaders, Christian leaders, uh, moving on into college and the rest of their lives that, that people will turn to for answers and, and that those answers will be pr provided confidently uh, and assuredly. So uh, I wanted to then uh, say thanks for giving me a few moments of your time this evening. I hope everybody stays warm in these last few days of January with the, with the sleet and the, and the freezing rain that's promised. May God bless all of you uh, as we together uh, work together to have such a great school uh, as is our tradition at Bishop Lewis Riker. God bless.